Let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So I'm gonna select the frame and hold down control on my keyboard or command so that I can just, you know, create some space over here, right? There you go. Now, the next section is this section where we have some, you know, where we're gonna talk about the work experience, all right? Oh, and one more thing I forgot is to change the color of this. So what I can do is I can actually select this text and I can change the opacity of this to be like 70%. Oh, okay, I don't think that works. So we gotta change it over here. I'm gonna set this to 70% or was it was it 50? I'm not quite sure. I think, yeah, I think it was 50%. Oh uh, yeah, it's 50%. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be 50%. So let's go ahead and um, bring our grid. So I'm gonna press, I'm gonna get ourselves to the grid. Okay, and if you want to see the shortcuts, you can actually click on the help and resources. You can go to the keyboard shortcuts and you can get all the shortcuts that you want and you can just close it up. Okay, so I'm going to start off by entering this subtext which says work experience. So I'm going to press T and I'm going to type in work experience. Okay, I'm going to change the color of this to be white. Okay, now this, we want this to be a font size of 16 pixels and have a line height of 150%. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is if we come here to this menu icon and we can come over here to the case, we can actually change this to uppercase. So which means, irrespective of whatever you type, it's going to be in uppercase. And we're gonna go select this, or right, and add a text style. I'm gonna call this overline underscore 16 pixels. All right, and then we're just gonna put that over here. Now we want this to be aligned to the grid because we want that 72 pixel spacing. Now this section is going to kind of follow the grid. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate this and uh, let's uncheck this and we can make this normal title case, right? And now we're gonna uh, add this text that says companies I have worked for in the past. So we can go ahead and type that. You can say companies I have worked for in the past, all right? Now you can see that this looks a little bit weird. So we can go ahead and change this back to normal one, right? There we go. Now the other thing is I've also added a sort of a gray color to this. So I'm gonna copy this color. I'm gonna come over here and paste this color. Now this is a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the style, add this to our color palette. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna type in light, gray okay there we go perfect now for this um, i'm gonna make this quite big now when you're making this big you want to make sure in terms of hierarchy how is it going to be now this is the heading which is going to be h1 which is going to be the most important text in our website and this is going to be secondary level right this is the secondary text that is going to be much big because this is a section title so we want it to be quite big now i've used a font size of 55 pixels so i'm going to go ahead and use that so i'm going to set this to 55 pixels Okay, now also after setting it to 55 pixels, I feel that this is too long because over here, I've kind of reduced this. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and press enter and move this to the second line. And I can set this to be auto because I don't want so much spacing uh, between this. And okay, and now we can move this a little bit closer. And I'm, I'm gonna move this like eight pixels. So I'm just gonna make it like eight pixels. I think that looks pretty good. All right, and there we go. Now. Uh, the next one is we're going to have these sections. So we're going to say number one uh, and then we're going to say, uh, you know, interaction designer and then we have some subtext, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard. Uh, I'm going to bring in, add some text. I'm going to say zero one. Okay. And now this is going to be one, one, seven pixels, right? This is going to be quite huge. I'm going to set this to light blue that we have. Okay. And okay, obviously the line height, we want that to be auto because we want it to be normal. All right. And I'm gonna get rid of the grid for now, all right? And uh, we're gonna add this to our style. So I'm gonna click on create style. Now this is not gonna be a heading. I'm just gonna call this label because this is not really a section title. It's just kind of like a label. I'm gonna say 117 pixels, all right? And yeah, we're gonna figure out the spacing a little bit later, but for now let's go ahead and add the other text. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text. And I almost forgot we need to add this as well. So I'm gonna add this to our uh, t t uh, system and I'm gonna say heading underscore 55 pixel okay and I'm gonna move this up over here so we start off with 78 so we're gonna start off with a label which is 117 and then we got 78 55 heading 16 pixels 
paragraph two is going to be 18 pixels. Paragraph is going to be 16 pixels. I think I'm going to go ahead and just edit and change this from paragraph two. I'm just going to say it paragraph 18 pixels. That should be fine. And then we've got overline of 16 pixels. So this is how you kind of build your design system. All right. So I'm going to grab this, create a copy by holding it on alt. All right. And then I'm going to say Google, say uh, interaction designer. Okay. Now this seems to be like a title. Now this is going to be third level in the hierarchy. So we've got, this is going to be first level. This is a second level and this is a third level. So for the third level, I've used a font size of 24. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, set this to be 24. Okay. And maybe set the height to around 50%. All right. And add this to our style guide. And this is going to be heading underscore 24 px. Okay. And let's move this in the proper hierarchy. There we go. Heading underscore 24, right? Great. So I'm going to start off by setting this to be 40 pixels from the bottom. All right. So 40 pixels. And then this, I'm going to kind of merge it over here. I don't want any spacing because I think this looks fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and first of all, make sure that every text element that we have over here, right? If you select everything, we want to make sure that the text is center aligned. All right. Let's select all the text. Make sure that this is not center aligned, but aligned in the middle. All right. This is what we want. And uh, this is fine. Now we're going to make a copy of this by duplicating this. And I'm going to move this 16 pixels. Okay. 16 pixels is a good value because we're using multiples of four and eight. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this information. All right. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Um, and also the color of this is going to be light gray. Okay. So how big is this going to be, right? How do we go, go ahead and do this? So now we're going to create this, put this into a grid. I'm going to bring back the grid. So we have 12 columns, which means that if I create three columns, if I create three elements, they'll take up four columns each. So I'm going to start off by putting this so that it falls in the four column grid. Okay. Now this looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select this. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say frame selection. So now we have this particular frame, right? And this is our group. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and move this over. So we have 24 pixel spacing and I'm going to select this also and move this over. It's going to be 24 pixel spacing. So now you can see that these three are neatly following and saying, staying on the grid. All right, great. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly change these to whatever we need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and it's going to be Facebook product designer and dribble graphic designer. All right. So Facebook product designer dribble graphic designer. And also just going to go ahead and copy this paste and copy and paste. Okay. Now what I've done is that as you can see, these look really good. I'm just going to ahead and go ahead and change the color of this, right? These look really nice. But the problem is that I feel that these two are a little close to each other. So what I've done here is I've actually gone ahead and given a little spacing of 48 pixels, right? Only this text, I'm kind of shrinking it to 48 pixels. So it feels a more, a bit more spacious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this text. Okay. And I'm gonna move it 48 pixels, right? Hold on alt so you can see, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is you can actually move the size, shrink it by holding down control and the arrow keys. Basically you can nudge. So hold down control and use the arrow keys so you can nudge it a bit. And now you can see it is 47. Let me just nudge it once more. Hold down control or command and press the left arrow key and you get 48, okay? This is the same thing over here. So I'm gonna hold control. So you can hold down shift if you want to nudge it in multiples of 10. So hold on control and shift. I'm going to press the left arrow key twi four times. One, two, three, four. So now you can see it is 40 pixels from the left and I'm going to move it once again. So it's 50 pixels and I'm going to hold control again and press the right arrow key twice. So that becomes 48, All right? I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right, there we go. Now if you see over here that this frame is, this text is outside. So I'm just going to hold down control and I'm going to drag it outside, right? Until it snaps. Okay. So now there we go. We have these three elements. All right. Perfect. Now these are pretty much done. 
all I have to do is go ahead and change the color. So I'm actually going to copy these color values. So copy and uh, paste and we're going to add this to our color profile. So I'm just going to call this green underscore accent. Okay. Uh, what else we've got? We've got Facebook, right? Just, just we can copy this color code, come here and select this and change this to this color, add this and say blue underscore accent. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get dribble, which is this color. And uh, I'm just gonna paste that over here and uh, add this and call this pink. And uh, there we go. So if we go back to our colors, we have all these colors. Just gonna go ahead and rename this to be pink accent color. Okay, there we go. So now this is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and if we go ahead and we can put this into a frame so I can right click and choose frame selection, right? Now, let's go ahead and hold Alt and Control so that I can move this over to the side, okay? So now we actually see that the page padding is 72, right? But what about the height? How do we define the height? Now in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come down over here and copy these. Okay. And I'm going to say experience section. I'm going to say top and bottom padding of 120 PX. Okay. So which means that I'm going to go select this. Okay and make sure that this is 120 pixels from the top, okay? And we're gonna hold on Alt and Control and drag this, that it snaps over here. So now this new section is our experience section. Now in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and make this responsive for other breakpoints, right? So we'll see you guys in the next video.